Guys, you guys got to teach me how to potty train this fool ASAP. Never potty trained my son, um, ever, because what I do, and I like to think of myself as the potty whisperer. Uh, to potty train means for a child to learn how to poop in a pot or a potty, which is uh, part of the process that they learn for eventually learning to poop in a toilet instead of pooping in their pants. It can also be used for dogs too. Normally people talk about paper training a dog, but they also talk about potty training a dog in the same manner as uh, teaching a child. Back in the olden days, using a pot to poop in was uh, very common because they didn't have toilets. So they would use a potty or what they call a chamber pot or what they call a commode those were how people used to do it back in the olden days. In some cases, it was just a hole in the ground, or people would have an outhouse, which was a special building built just for that purpose. Potty train can also be used in a derogatory way to refer to somebody who is acting very childish. My boss asked me what I thought about the new employee, and I told him he needs to be potty trained. He has no clue as to how to act and how to behave around our company. And I'm surprised they even hired him in the first place. Back in the olden days, parents used to try to potty train children before they were ready. Like even when they were just a year or so old. Nowadays, parents usually try to potty train the children when they're ready to do it. And that usually ends up better for the kids, psychologically and emotionally. Tara Reid often gets categorized as a ditzy blonde. Ditzy refers to someone or some idea that is silly or scatterbrained. Back in the olden days, they used to refer to a ditzy blonde who was a blonde woman who was, you know, a little scatterbrained. Can also refer to an idea as well. So you might say, well, his ideas are usually pretty ditzy, but every once in a while he gets a good idea. So ditzy is usually used to refer to women. So in that manner, it's a little sexist. Uh, Marilyn Monroe, throughout most of her career, played ditzy blondes. But uh, behind the madness, there was a method. And uh, she usually got what she wanted somehow in her movies, which was part of her appeal. Nowadays, the idea of the ditzy blonde has gone out of style because most people think it's pretty sexist, which it is. And uh, most women do not try to get what they want by acting silly. Usually they find that being serious about things is more effective. Which celebrity quotes made you facepalm? Uh, to facepalm means to take your face and actually stick it in the palm of your hand to show some type of disappointment or sadness about something or exasperation or frustration. It's actually a fairly new word even though the idea goes back a long way, people would refer to it in some other way. Perhaps they would say somebody had an exasperated expression. But uh, since the invention of this word, roughly 10 years ago, it's become more popular and there's a good chance it'll end up turning into a regular word at some point. So it can be used these either as a verb he face palmed when he heard the news, or it can be used as a noun. He did a face palm when he found out he got fired.
Oftentimes with uh, celebrities, they don't want to directly express their frustration or their disapproval. So what you'll see quite often is you'll see them just do a face palm to show their exasperation or their annoyance about some situation or person as a way of suggesting that the other person or the situation is just beyond reason. A very common, almost an iconic picture when the stock market uh, loses a lot of money for the day is they will show a stockbroker doing a face palm like they are suffering from losing so much money. My friend Susie, who's very overweight, she signed up for a breakdance class. So when I found out the news, I just did a face palm. I was so exasperated about why she would do such a thing. That's all for today. Tom Taylor is an ESL tutor. He teaches English in the United States and outside all over the world using Skype. He can be reached at his website, which is esl-fullsteamahead.com. Click on this link and check out his website and email with questions. Thank you, Tom, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.